Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. What's on thinking man's mind today? Where is UL 294 referenced and required? That's a great question. It's one that I get all the time. Come on in and let's check it out. UL 294 is the standard for access control system units. I will be basing my answer using references from IBC 2018. Other editions are similar. Always consult your state and local codes as well. There are four levels of access control components in four different categories. The standard covers destructive attack, line security, endurance, and standby power. Clearly, this is a standard for access control system units. But remember from a previous code corner that a standard must be referenced by the code in order to be in effect. It may be part of an architectural specification but as far as being a requirement by code, where is this in the IBC? In chapter 35, they have reference standards. That's the name of the chapter. And UL 294 1999 edition is referenced by 1010-197 controlled egress, 1010-1981 delayed egress, 1010-199 for sensor release of electrically locked egress doors and 10101910 for door hardware release of electrically locked egress doors. What do these all four have in common? They're typically using some kind of a mag lock or an electrified lock that locks the door on the egress side. In other words, these are special locking arrangements. The door locking system units shall be listed in accordance with UL 294. Every one of these has that as a listed criteria. And so the door locking system units are what needs to comply. But what about electrified hardware, the locks that prevent entry but allow for free egress? Access control can be confusing to AHJs, and some will say that any door that has access control for entry must also meet UL 294. That's not true unless you're locking the egress side, and that's covered by those special locking arrangements. For all other doors, 1010.1.9 for door operations is in effect, except as specifically permitted by this section, egress door shall be readily openable from the egress side without the use of a key or special knowledge or effort. If it isn't referencing UL 294 here, then you don't need that for standard electrified hardware that allows free egress. You may be able to use this citation to talk to your AHJ and get them to see your side. Another example of a reference standard is under panic hardware and fire exit hardware, 1010.1.10.1. Panic hardware shall be listed in accordance with UL 305 whereas fire exit hardware shall be listed in accordance with UL 305 for panic, as well as UL 10C, which is the test standard for fire doors. You don't find UL 305 referenced under the lock set section, for example, and if an AHJ asked you for documentation of a cylindrical lock that's listed UL 305, you wouldn't find anybody that makes it. And that's because UL 305 is the standard for panic hardware. So unless a standard is referenced by the code, it does not apply. In the case of UL 294, you may use panic hardware on that door. If it's mechanical panic hardware and doesn't have anything to do with the release of the mag lock, then it just, the panic hardware would only need to be listed UL 305 and the mag lock and other components like the power supply would be UL 294. I hope this helps clear things up for you as well as any AHJs out there. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can connect with me on LinkedIn for updates 
or you can email me at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com if you have any code questions. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve security in the built environment.